Seems like every other day we're hearing about it. Breaches and recently at Target, JP Morgan Chase, uh, even other big banks and brokerage firms or retailers putting all of your personal information and finances at risk. Who isn't thinking about their online financial security these days? Here with the top tips to protect yours as lifestyle lawyer and your advocate, Sherry O. How common is it, Sherry, uh, for someone's username and password and other information to be stolen? Mike, this is huge and mm -hmm. it's growing. I mean, we're talking tens of millions per occurrence, adding up to billions. The problem is that this is a, a global business. The U.S., with you know, we're known around the world for being a wealthy population. Sure. We're on the top of the radar screen. The number of hackers are growing. The number of crooks who buy the information from hackers are growing. The speed at which they can communicate this information is growing. And we know that when they get this information, they open accounts in our names, they send emails in our names, they use our credit cards, and they even transfer balances, our, our money from our brokerage and bank accounts. Yeah, you know, it just, it literally seems like every other day we're hearing about another big retailer. And it's impossible for the government to really do anything about it because these folks are in Russia and Nigeria, so it's right. really up to us and the retailers to protect ourselves. Speaking of which, are the retailers and big banks and brokerage, brokers, are they doing anything to protect us? You know, the problem is it's very expensive. So mm -hmm. some of them are starting to use these text messages with authentication codes. So if you try to transfer a balance out of your brokerage account, they'll send you a text message that you have to uh, enter the code and then you can complete the transfer. Most of them are using what we call multi-layer or multi-factor authentication. That means they're using three different types of information. It's information we know, such mm -hmm. as our password or maybe your high school mascot, information we have, like an ATM card, and information we are, like a fingerprint or an iris. But again you know, an iris scan. Sure. But again, it's very expensive. So, for example, J.P. Morgan Chase just this week announced that they'll get, they're going to be doubling their $250 million budget to help combat this. They're going to be spending a half a billion dollars a year, which, of course, is going to get passed on to all of us. Yeah, sure is. You know, I, I check my online bank account you know, pretty much daily. Is there, is there things you can do to protect yourself before you get in this situation? Sure. Well, the easiest thing is those passwords. You can stay a step ahead of the crooks by changing your passwords frequently. You also, like you said, you want to check your balances uh, and also your credit report on a regular basis. You can also use what's called a security freeze. So if you think that there's been a breach, you can contact the three credit bureaus, and for a small fee, they will not allow any new accounts to be set up. Over half a million people are using this every year. Uh, and if you want to undo that freeze, you just need two or three days notice. And again, there's a little bit of a fee, but it's a great way to stop the crooks. And staying active, that's got to speak. You got to keep on top of this stuff because you never know. Right, 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 exactly. It's up to us. She's here for you. That's Sherry O. Holly, back to you now. All right, April.